with a mind-blowing blend of acrobatics, theatre and dance, the critically acclaimed circus extravaganza Circopolis is currently touring New Zealand. Joining us from the show, please welcome Rosita Hendry. Yes, welcome Rosita. Yeah, and it's welcome home as well because uh, you ran away to the circus. You've been away for the last six years. <laughs> I did literally run away to the circus, yes. So six how years. did that all come about? Um, I started off with gymnastics and gradually through dance, music, training, I found the circus and I just really fell in love with it. I moved to Australia, then went on to Canada and did a total of four years full-time training and I'm honestly loving it. It's so much fun. And did you accidentally sort of end up in the circus when you were a little girl? Were you dreaming of, you know, something different or is this sort of what you wanted to do? I did kind of accidentally find it, but I had this secret dream when I was little. I want to run away to the circus. I didn't really tell anyone. And when I was about 20, so it was kind of late for circus artists, I just found it and I had all these skills that I've been training and I was like, wow, I can use all these training, gymnastics, dance, music, in one art form. And then I was like, this is perfect. And from then I was like, full on, this is what I want to do. Yeah. So what have you performed in? Um, well, I actually recently graduated from full-time school in Canada. So since then I've done a show with Cirque du Soleil and Ooh, I was nice. fortunate to be cast as the lead character for that. Wow. I was doing all my main disciplines, which is a lot of fun. And then straight from that I was hired by Cirque Alois to do Circopolis. So this is my, I'm actually fresh from school, graduated, but I've had two contracts back to back, which has been very exciting and very privileged to have all these doors opening up. And well deserved, because you've obviously worked very hard at it and you are a master at your craft. So tell us more about Circopolis. What does it involve? What are we going to see? Basically, in short, it follows the story of an office worker and he's breaking free of the norm of monotony. And you see him really taking all the artists along this journey with him. Um, you'll see a real high level of acrobatics, circus, aerial. There's also comedy. And you'll find like, it's got something for everyone. So people, you'll find yourself laughing at other times, you'll find yourself crying. So it's just got this real variety of mix of a fun, from elderly to the young, everyone will enjoy wow, it. Wow, and that's what you want too. So yeah. you talked about your main disciplines. Mm -hmm. So what are your main disciplines? In the show, mm -hmm. I'm doing see a wheel, and I also do trapeze. What is the see a wheel? See a wheel is a large metal hoop. It's a little big, bit bigger than me. I fit inside it, and I spin and rotate and dance with it. There it is. Oh my goodness, that looks spectacular. And look, when we come along and we see the show, we're mesmerised, but there must be occasions where, in rehearsals, it may have gone wrong. Have you had many injuries? Um, I've had a few, but it's more just the hoop. It's very, it's metal and hitting you. So I've, you know, some bruises. bruises. Probably the worst was I did a, a skill where it slipped and I was upside down and it hit me in the throat. That was probably my worst one. A little bit of, oh, I can't breathe for a bit, but, you know, we re everything I've recovered from, like, very quickly, so... I'm just absolutely mesmerised by what you're doing on screen right now. That is just phenomenal. Oh, thank you. And how much training goes into, I guess, Lots. keeping up? Uh, <laughs> yes. well, the ability to be able to do this <laughs> night after night to yeah. audiences, do you have to you know, train during the day? Or once you're at that level, yeah. can you just sort of sit back and chill out a bit? Um, it's a different. So when I was in full-time training, it was every day. I was training from 8.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the evening. So the level now is more just maintaining that level. We're not training as much, but we come in a few hours before the show just to warm up and do some training. There's a balance between not doing too much training before a show because you still want to be fresh at, right. and at your best. And you don't want to hurt yourself. Exactly. So you will still want to keep training, but you just have that balance. On days off, that's when I can really do some training. It doesn't matter if I'm tired, and, but it's, again, just keeping that balance, knowing, learning over time you learn how much you can do mm. and what you can do before a show. So this is your first time back performing in New Zealand? It is, yes. How does that is. feel to be home? Um, honestly, amazing. I've, for a long time, I was like, my goal is to get back to New Zealand and be able to perform circus because everyone's been watching me on videos, on YouTube and people are supporting me and it's like I really want to come back to New Zealand. I didn't think it would happen so soon but I mean I'm so happy to be back to the family to be, finally be able to see what I do and friends and all these people that have supported me just to kind of give back to them yeah. to thank them for what they've put into me over all this time overseas. This yeah. is what you're funding. And that's a good thing because you get to perform to your family probably makes you a little bit more nervous but at the same time they're going to be very proud of oh, you like most of the country. Do you get any downtime though to go and explore a bit we more? We do get a little bit of downtime. Oh, cool. We Most of the time once we start running the shows we have the daytime free so we get to go out and 
you know, explore a little bit. And I pretend I'm a tourist even though I'm from here. Yeah. And just like, I want to go, oh, I want to see New Zealand is beautiful, so I still want to get out and do things. That's awesome, nice awesome, yeah. fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Cirque Alawaz Sokopoulos will be in Dunedin from tomorrow and touring to Wellington and Auckland for a strictly limited season. For tickets, you can go to the websites on screen.